Hey guys, this is our final video that I will teach you how to resize everything in a media. After this, we're gonna create a lot of video of the responsive website and trick and other things you want to know how to use it. And of course, if you have a question, I always have a pleasure to answer it in a comment. So before I start, in my last video, we get a few problems uh, when we add a footer and start in and a style in our animation hover. So I will fix some code that, that I used in my previous lesson. First, I need to remove uh, this uh, little circle of our list. So I type cool, U-L-L-I. And now inside it, let our list style type be a none to remove of our list circle. Okay, next we get a problem with um, uh, hover in a link. So instead of a cool U-L-L-I-A, use this cool U-L-L-I hover instead of A. And now inside it, let's type a transform translate Y be a 10 pixel to go down. Simple code. And let's not forget a transition for little effect. Let me add a transition less than one second. And a final thing in our footer, I can add a before for this menu of the footer to create a line between these and our links. But let's use a simple code instead of before. So I use a border button for that to create a simple border. Now in our footer second H4, let add the border button be a two pixel solid with the color. As I teach you in my previous lesson, let the color be hashtag 7CB6FF. And let me add a little padding to our line have a distance of H4. So add the padding button. I think uh, 20 pixel or 10 pixel is good. Let's use a 10 pixel for that. And let me add a margin button, be a 20 pixel for this. And now much better. Now we end off our footer. Next code we're gonna fix, let's change a color of the box shadow. I didn't change it because I wanted you guys to learn it. So let the color be the same of this border, be the same of this border of the input as you can see it. Just let me copy this color in this inspect and I paste it to see it now. Let me change RGB. Um, let me do it fast uh, to go in a media. And before this and uh, this and our form paste it. Now let me reduce a color like a Photoshop in this uh, beautiful option of the Chrome. Okay, now let me add it to form and the form before. Now I think it's uh, too bright, so let me decrease it with um, inspect, just like a Photoshop, to get a nice result. Okay, let me reduce a third number of a box shadow. And um, and um, you know what? Let the five pixel of uh, this box shadow be a zero pixel. Let me do it for all. And good, yeah. Now better, I think. Now add it in this square that we created here. And done. Uh, now let me add it in this code. Uh, just let me do it quick. Okay. Okay, now let's go for the media and the start. Okay, first media you want to start is this number. And if you want, you can increase it. But I think a media of the phone and the tablet is more important. So for a start, we set a Chrome for, um, uh, for this uh, pixel. And if you want, you can use this option of the Chrome that the most designer use it. It will be the same. I resize it like this and you see a pixel in off of our website. So now you see website, just think what you want to change or what is you want to resize it in this media. I think everything is a good. Um, no need to change anything. But uh, let a little decrease a font of uh, this H2 and any set of a font size 2.2. Uh, let be a 2.0 for that. Let me inspect do it. And now you see it. Now whenever your media is 1310 pixel or another word, whenever your size of a monitor is a 1310 pixel, your font will be a this. And now if you understand it, and if you understand the media, let's continue. Just a copy and paste it. Let me add it here inside the max width. 
Now let's continue. Let me decrease a P. Let me decrease a P word to so we can set a font size be 1.1 rem instead of 1.2 rem. You can see it guys, it's not that hard. Just reduce the size and after that just copy and paste it. Good. Now let's decrease h1 to the font size be a 2.3 rem. Okay, I'm um, let's do it in this inspect. And let me delete uh, this code. We just need a font size. Now we add a custom name of a syntax instead of h1 as you can see it here in inspect. Let me add it in this h1 and together font size be a 2.3 rem. Just add it with this and the font size will be the same of h1. Simple. Okay. Now everything is fine. Let's go for the next media. Okay, let me add uh, this number and try to reduce it and try to reduce the size. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this media or you can create it and paste it. And let me add uh, this uh, number of the media and let me set aside um, of code. Let me set the website of uh, this uh, 11.0.0. Um, let's see, the hero page I think is good. So let's go to reduce a font size or if you think no need to do that, don't do it. And for H2 be a 1.6 RAM and for the P be a 1.0 and for H1 and the syntax be a 2.0. Now everything is done. Let's see website of the this media. Yup, font size is good. And now about image to reduce it. As I can see it now, I didn't add the height I2 for image sorry guys now let me explain why we must add a height be auto instead of custom number now know that guys whenever your max width is a hundred percent add the height be auto to let a max width of the media reduce the size in a media and get a perfect picture this is why the most of the designer use a max width just add the width and let the height be auto and you're done let me add it in um uh, let me add it in um and media or you can add it here but no but i think i must add it here to get a perfect picture now let me just find it and um uh, and um fix a problem to let it not uh, this happen again okay so now let's see the website and yeah much better now we go for about page okay let's see here let me just uh, reduce image a little size and let me just find it in the VS code. Now let the image box of the image, let the width be a 300 pixel and the height be a 400 pixel. So let me call it in this media and add it. Now let's go for the form to resize it. Good. And now for a square, as you can see, let's resize this square to 300 pixels of the width and 300 pixels of the height. Yeah, I think it's good. Now let me copy and paste it in this media. And by the way, guys, always try to resize in an inspect. It's easy and you just need to copy and paste it. And now for the form, let me see it in this inspect. We have a width of 450 pixels. Now let me reduce the size it and let me into a 350 pixel. And let it copy and paste it. Just let this have a width and delete this code that we don't need it. Okay, now for the form of the before that we created here, let me see the width is 400 pixel. Now let's reduce it to um, a 300 pixel to be a small in this media. Okay, I just do it quick because I don't want to let this video be long. And let me copy and paste it. Now I know it's uh, funny just copy and paste it. But uh, this way that I teach you, but uh, this way I teach you is the best of other courses. Because when you're using your inspect, always your work will be as simple like this. And yeah. And now for the import, I think uh, no need for now to style it and resize it. So let me continue. 
Next is a footer. Let me see it. So let me see if we need a change of anything. Um, no need to change it. Everything is fine. Now let's go for the next media. Oh, I forget something. Before that, do you remember we add a section of the 230 pixel, as you can remember, for the top and the bottom, and 10% of the left and the right. As you can see it here in inspect, now let's add it here and let this 10% be 8% to let have a more space for a section. And much better. And we get a more space for our section. Um, it just like reduce a space between uh, these uh, two div if you understand what I mean by this. Now next is a header that we created here and name it further for that. Let decrease a padding to be a same for the left and the right. Now instead of 30 pixel and 10% be a 30 pixel and 8%. And now you can see website it's now better for this media. Good now hope you're ready for the next media. Okay, next media is uh, for a tablet, which is a start um, from a 988 or 960 pixel. Now let's see the website in a 960 pixel. Um, let me decrease a pixel more to see the problem. And now we see it, we have overflow X. And that is a bad. This is the most important thing. You must remove it in the media. So first, let's find what is a section in that add overflow x for us. Let's find out. This is a form before that we added. Wait, what happened? Oh, I didn't save the document. Sorry for that, guys. Now let's try again. And no more overflow. Now let's see. Okay, first let's remove it. Okay, first, let's remove uh, this box that we learned to create here. And the name of the hero is before. And of course, no need for it. You can remove it uh, from a style that we added here. The other way, you can remove it, which is as simple. Now, do you remember which display can remove HTML? Yes, exactly. And that is a display none. Just let me add it. All further before here to call in this media and now inside it create display none and done and no more box we see it okay let's go for the next code um let me copy this a section and the further to reduce a padding be a six percent for both of them now we have a more space for the left and the right okay good everything is a fine now next section let's see the text doesn't have a space so for that let's decrease a grid gap that we added here we have a space between this image and the text and now um, let me see it with inspect let me reduce it this is space yeah 20 pixel is good i think yeah 20 pixel is good so let's call it in this media name is a blog row and inside it the grid gap be a 20 pixel and let um uh, blog father see it also that have a grid gap for that which is have a space for the text and this a box so let me see let me reduce it and be a zero pixel now let me call the, or you can copy and paste it okay blog father and the grid gap be a zero pixel or as i said you can copy and paste it. now let's see the website much better next section is about page and i think it's fine um, uh, no need to change it. Let's go for the next. Now, I think a square is a too big size. Let's resize it here. Let be 250 pixel of the width and the 250 pixel of the height. Uh, yeah, I think uh, 250 pixel is good. Yeah, I think a 250 pixel is good. And now we see it now. It's not a center. Now, let's move it to be a center. So, let's move it here. Not on the top. Let me see it with inspect. Let the top be a minus 110 pixel. Is it good? And for the left, um, just what guess? And be a 20 pixel is good. Now just let me copy and paste it, just like always. And let's not forget the top and the left that we added here. And done. I think the form of the size is fine to me. But let me reduce a little height. So let me see this before. We have a height of the 600 pixel, as you can see it. 
Now let's be um now let's be 550 pixel. And yeah, I think this is a good. And for the form, as we can see, we don't have a height. So instead to reduce a height, let us resize the padding, which is um 100 pixel, to be a 75 pixel. And done. Now let me add it first to um media to go next section. Now let's go for the footer section. As I see now, no need to change it, and yeah. And now, if you have, for example, tablet, when you go online in this page or a website, the view of the website will be at this, like at this media. And if you think we have missed something, just do it with the inspect to resize it in a media. It's not too hard, guys. Now, the first time is really hard for you, but after you create a many website with a media, you will find out the max width wasn't hard for that. And now let's go for the next max width, which is a 7088 pixel for the phone. Okay, we done everything. Last one is a 788 pixel. And now this media take a time for setting a style. So let me first just copy, just copy this folder and the section, and let it be a 4% instead of 6% to get a more space for the section and the folder. And now let's see what we need here. Let me decrease it to 650 pixel to see more detail for that. Okay, first let's change a menu LIA and um, let the padding be a 7 pixel and 5 pixel. Let me just uh, be a 7 pixel and a 5 pixel for the left and the right instead of 15 pixel. Now let's go to create it here menu LIA and inside it be a 7 pixel and 5 pixel. Now you may think our some text title is a center, but it's not. So always check it carefully. Now let's use a sum code to let this title be a center. And how to do it? If you remember, we have a two way to center a div. First is add a display block and a margin zero idle. And if it didn't work, try position absolute. And the top be a 15% and the left be a 15%. Transform translate minus 15% and the minus 15%. I just say it too fast because we learned it in a previous lesson. So let me try it in inspect. Let me turn off at this top and the right and add the margin zero item and a display block. Nah, it's not working. Let's go for the position just like I said. We have absolute here. So let the top be a 15% and at the left be a 50%. And the last code is add a transform translate. Now let's add a transform translate minus 15% and the minus 15%. Good, now it's center. Um, our sum text div is of a small width as you can see it now in your website. And the this box show detail of the width and the height of the div. So for quick solution for this, let's add the width for that and be a 500 pixel. And now perfect. And now we want it to be a button. What we're gonna do? The first way instead of the top, add the button and add the zero. And instead of that, what we're gonna do it? Simply just add the more in the top, in inspect. And let's see. Let me increase it with the inspect and let be eighty percent. And now it's button. Let's go next section, guys. We just started now. We just started now, guys. We just started. Okay, let's see here. Always remember this, if you reach a phone of a media, let it display grid that you add here be a 1 and not a 2 and be a next line, like a flex action. Let me show you. In the block folder, as you can see it, we have a repeat 2, 1, fr, let the 2 be 1 and see, it just make it better. And now let's add a grid gap, be a 15 pixel. Let me add it, good and much better no need to add more code just uh, this is enough just let me add a grid template with a grid gap to go uh, to go next section next section is about page now let's see here you can let uh, this image and the text be a grid in this phone media but i recommend it to set a grid but i recommend it to set a grid into one because most of the people like me have a phone of a 410 pixel and if you set it to 415 pixel you see it it's go bad so let this be a grid one 
not a two. Okay, we got a new problem, just like always. The picture is not center. So do you remember two way to let a div be a center? Let's try first one. Let me add a display block and the margin zero item. And it's work. Good. Simple. Let me add a grid gap to have a little space be a 15 pixel. Just let me add it in a VS code. Um, uh, next folder, grid be a 1 to FR. Let me just copy and paste it. And the grid gap be a 15 pixel. And you can resize the image if you want. But I think the size is good. Now let's go for the next. And the next is the contact page. Okay, let the grid be a 1. And we see it, it's not center. Let's try the first way to let a div be a center. Now let it form a display block and a margin zero item. Let's see if that work. Now we have a display gate as you can see in a form. Just add a margin zero item. No need to add display block because we have a grid. And yes, it's work. Now the circle as we can see, <laughs> sorry I mean a square. We have a position. Just let me copy this top left and the transform and set it here. And let the top be a minus 15%, not 80% of course, to be center. But because the first one, we add a rotate, and I don't want this div be a square. So let me add, so let me add it, this rotate with a translate. And done, simple as that. Now we need to add a space, add a grid gap. Um, let's see, let me increase it with an inspect. I think 200, uh, I think a 235 pixel is good. Now let's see, we done it guys. Okay, just uh, let me copy a form and a square to this media. Just add it what you have been add in inspect Chrome. And try not to forget to add it in a VS code because if you refresh a Chrome, all the code that you added here will not show it again. Let's go for the last is the footer. Now let's see the footer. Ah, we got the problem. Now if you think uh, this style is good for a footer and no need to change it, so keep it. But if you think it's not good, remove the flex wrap, this. Let me remove the flex wrap to let me see what happened. Oh, it's bad. Okay, first is our contact have a padding of the 10%. Let be a 4% here. And yeah, good. Let me add it first in a media. Okay, let me add it contact. Yes, contact, okay. Oh, sorry, I forget to delete the flex wrap in this media. Now, if we see, we have a line height problem with the word. Because the web designer that we added here is a too big sentence, and it had a line height with uh, these uh, words. So, instead of line height, let me turn off this and add a margin button in a of a line height in cool ULLI, not A, cool ULLI. And add and be a margin button. And it's still a problem is not fixed. Now let me just uh, copy what we created. So let's go for the next. And uh, let me copy and paste it. And this uh, margin. Let, let's not forget about the margin. Okay, this be this. And the line height be a zero pixel. And the line height be a zero pixel in a cool ULIA. And let the font size a little reduce it here. Let me see be a one rem. Yeah, okay now, let's see what caused this, oh, you see it now, it's a margin, always use inspect to find out what caused this problem, okay, it's margin that we added here, so resize it, and instead of 15 pixel, be a, uh, yeah, 20 pixel is good, and yeah, job's done, now hope you learn it, guys, and how to resize in a media, with uh, this inspect. Okay, so now we have a new option. If you want, you can add a media 550 pixel for a more to resize it. And if not, let be a this. But sometimes, if you think your website needs it, add it. Now our course is ended here. And you can skip this because I want to add a 550 pixel. Or you can watch it right now, what we want to add here. So let me just add a last media, which is a 550 pixel. And let's see what happened. 
okay we get overflow x and it's perfect time to teach you how to remove this so first let me just copy this and paste it and the last be a two personal padding now let's do it quick okay i think a hero page is a good and let's change the size of the font let me copy and paste it again here let the h1 the sum text be 1.8 and for this the sum text p be a 1.6 let me add it because it's new div okay copy and paste it next h2 let be a 1.4 and our blog text to a of our link if you see it now let reduce a font size here and be a one rem next let's go for the next oh i i forget about the overflow now here is a track that i use always for this if you want to find what a div that cause overflow in this media first way it just you can see it with the mouse like this and the next way is adding a display none for a section to find out which is a section cause of overflow for this but the first way is it better than all and let's see oh we found it it is some text that we add a width of 500 pixel let me see it let me decrease it with the mouse and let me a 350 pixel and the problem solved and for the last option if you didn't solve this problem and get again overflow just add in a hero or a section overflow x either and the problem again solved simple like this always we have a way to solve a problem now let's continue um uh, let's see and i think everything is good oh let's see a footer oh, now let the content be a now let the content be a two percent instead of four percent now hope you love our this uh, last lesson and learn it better sorry my other video for um uh, not have a quality so now after this video we're gonna cut a lot of website because you learn many things, it's time to watch your sponsored website and see how designer create a website. And you will learn it step by step when you create the same code. So hope you so hope you see in my next video and continue to watching our channel. And thanks for supporting me guys. Always grateful. If you add a comment and if you have a question, feel free to ask it. I will do my best to solve your problem. See you in my next video guys and bye.